The axolotl is truly adorable, with its unique appearance and captivating charm that is hard to resist. However, a cause for concern is the sharp decline in their numbers, in recent years, placing them on the brink of extinction. Before planning and constructing their habitat, we thoroughly conduct in-depth research and investigation each time to ensure the provision of the most suitable and enriched ecological environment. We pay great attention to aspects such as their tank setup, diet, health, and the necessary water conditions. We have consistently kept a close eye on relevant information, frequently searching online for opportunities to adopt or rescue. Fortunately, one day, we came across a post on Facebook about an adoption opportunity. On their first day at home, they are still in their egg state, usually taking about 15 days to hatch when kept at 22 degrees Celsius. The shapes of some axolotls inside the eggs are already quite distinct. For optimal growth, ensure the water in the upper temperature limit. It is also essential to keep the water quality pristine. Some eggs are white and show no signs of development, possibly indicating lack of fertilization. we decided to observe for a while before confirming. We quickly set up a tank resembling their natural habitat, for them to rest and thrive in. In the future, we plan to upgrade to a larger and independent tank. However, acquiring equipment and completing the setup will take some time. Axolotls can produce a ton of waste, you're going to need a strong filter, but also ensure it doesn't create a ton of water flow. Therefore, we have created two circulation holes. Use a small fan to dry the foam surface. <laughs> Observing their changes carefully every day, we can always profoundly appreciate the greatness of life. However, with many lives about to hatch, pressure and responsibility arise accordingly. Seeing their birth is truly touching. We have prepared brine shrimp to feed them. Fill the jar with one liter of water and add 25 to 30 grams of non-iodized salt. Add the brine shrimp eggs and let them hatch for 24 to 48 hours. Connect the air pump to the airline tubing and place the other end in the jar to create aeration. We modeled this tank based on the appearance of their native habitat.
The axolotl is native only to the freshwater of Lake Xochimilco and Lake Chalco in the Valley of Mexico. Lake Chalco no longer exists, having been drained as a flood control measure. When setting up the tank for your baby axolotl, make sure to include plenty of hiding places such as rocks, driftwood, and plants, so they have somewhere to hide when feeling stressed or scared. Placing the existing aquarium sponge filter into the new aquarium can rapidly cultivate a substantial amount of beneficial bacteria. A robust population of beneficial bacteria ensures good water quality, creating a suitable environment for fish survival. The newly hatched axolotl babies are very lively. They have an unmistakable appearance with their feathery gills, wide heads, and long tails. The brine shrimp have also successfully hatched. Because they are really too small, it's impossible to tell if they are eating until I notice their little bellies turning pink. Because it was the first time hatching brine shrimp. Unsure of the quantity. I ended up hatching too many. So I distributed the extras to other fish babies. Simulate the natural stream habitat and environment by placing natural rocks and wood to provide hiding places. Feeding your baby axolotl regularly is key for their health and growth. to ensure the health of the axolotls. Maintaining excellent water quality is crucial. Therefore, we have installed an efficient water filtration system, regularly conduct water changes, and keep the water temperature stable. Axolotls do not prefer bright light. 
You can address this by either anchoring plants in small plastic pots to the side or bottom of the tank or by using floating plants. Axolotls are often employed as a model organism since they possess a large and easily manipulated embryo, the development of which is clearly visible. Considerable research has focused on the axolotl's remarkable healing abilities. It is capable of regenerating entire limbs as well as the tail and parts of the brain, eyes, and heart. As of 2020, the axolotl was near extinction due to urbanization in Mexico City and consequent water pollution, as well as the introduction of invasive species such as tilapia and perch. Through my personal efforts in the rehabilitation of axolotls, I also hope to inspire everyone to cherish the environment. Let's work together to protect this beautiful blue planet and leave a better home for future generations. Have you all watched the movie How to Train Your Dragon? Isn't Toothless in it remarkably similar to a winged axolotl? This extraordinary creature inevitably reminds me of real-life axolotl, which possess equally unique and captivating qualities. Toothless in the film brings endless delight to the audience, encourages us to cherish and explore the marvelous creatures in the natural world even more. 